All right, hi, Gemini. This is going to be your love reading. I already did a reading for you guys. It was like over an hour long, but it just won't upload when I try to combine the videos together because, um, yeah, it wouldn't upload when I tried to, yeah, when I tried to combine the videos or whatever. Um, I had a phone call, so that interrupted that. So I'm here doing your reading again. So it probably won't be that long, which is probably a good thing for you guys. I'm sure the shorter the readings, the better uh, for most people. Um, so yeah, do I remember, what was your, I, I know it was something about a possible reconciliation. I don't know, we'll see. Maybe the energy, that was like, I did that reading like, over a week ago so the energy shifts by the fucking minute so you may it may be a similar storyline it may not be okay so we'll just see so what this is for gemini placement sun moon rising and venus take what resonates sleep what doesn't be sure to flip the script we roast the roles choose which side of the story you're on place yourself where you fit in the story okay and if there's if you're someone watching for a gemini as if you're dealing with a gemini this could be playing out from your point of view as in the gemini could be doing this to you okay so we got deception here that came out, healing family issues. So let's see. Uh, we got romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Somebody could be catching feelings for someone or reminiscing about somebody. Yeah, we got reconciliation here. Um, yeah. <clears throat> Attraction. Express your love. Ooh, so okay. So we got to go ahead and make the romantic gesture and you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. Yeah, Gemini's, I feel like I'm going to take, you know, normally I want to take how they, if they fly, if they flew out that way, but I'm going to take them. And then we got, ooh, very soon. And then we got wedding chemistry. This could be the one. Free yourself. And family issues, deception, getting to know each other. So somebody could be needing, somebody could be like not really revealing the true selves to you or vice versa out of like fear, insecurity, or you could just be, you know, you could be seeing a different side to someone, right? But very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So whether you're with somebody or not, uh, express your love, go ahead and make the romantic gesture and attraction, you enjoy it, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully so i'm getting yeah something about you guys is because that la your last reading was pretty messy <clears throat> so i'm assuming and I, and I also have to redo libra's reading so you and libra things could be shifting in your love life uh some of you guys could be practicing working on your self-concepts whether you're in a relationship a marriage or single right so it doesn't really matter so let's see here what's this romantic feelings for gemini placements for love we got high priestess spirituality Okay, Pisces energy. You can deal with a Pisces here. We got three of Pentacles here. Team, or somebody could somebody could have a crush on you at work, or in your neighborhood, or a classmate, or something like that. Somebody you went to school with, somebody you used to work with, right? They could be keeping this to themselves. Yeah, somebody wants to collaborate and work with you, Gemini. What's this romantic feelings? A lot of you guys are also meaning to work through your your romantic life is tied to something about you spiritually okay what's this romantic Ooh. and we got eight of pentacles here so work on your yeah some of you guys need to work on or somebody here needs to work on uh something in regards to commitment and putting in effort and teamwork here right um something about also the pentacles that could be stability yeah nine of cups contentment Okay, so, okay, Gemini, Ten of Wands, stress, Five of Wands, conflict, oh, breakup, restriction, okay, so, Gemini is what I'm, yes, okay, so, what I'm seeing, Gemini, be careful about making, all right, so, for some of you guys, somebody here could be developing feelings for somebody at work, or a friend, classmates somebody you used to work with or whatever right i feel like there is some type of we'll see here somebody could be under stress and they could be seeking solstice through someone else external to this relationship or they could be a friend of yours that seeks solstice in you or your person that's catching feelings here okay what's this high priestess i feel like some of you guys in the hermit introspection yes virgo energy here okay some of you guys may know that this person, yeah, something about, wow, the hermit and the high priestess. 
So something about going within, trusting your intuition about a commitment or something that you're currently doing or working on right now, okay? What's this hermit here? Some of you guys may be not speaking to this person or this somebody here could have, there could be this. Yeah, four pentacles in reverse. A lot of pentacles here. So... Gemini, what y'all got going on? <clears throat> yeah, the Four of Pentacles talks about opening up, letting go of something, releasing your grip on something. Yeah, I feel like the Hermit is going within. The High Priestess is inner knowledge. Some of you guys may intuitively know you need to let go of something or someone, okay? Or some of you guys need to open up your heart. Okay, so, you know, somebody here needs to open up their heart here. What's this for? A pentacles in reverse? Or let go of something. somebody's developing feelings from some for somebody outside of their relationship or somebody that they work with or something yeah somebody some of you guys queen of cups in reverse gemini cancer cusp energy some of you guys could be a june gemini's or uh on the cusp of cancer some of you guys if you're feeling over possessive some of you guys may need to retreat a bit and kind of figure out your feelings and really decide how you really feel about someone or something because some of you guys could be trying to hold on to somebody out of codependency the queen of cups in reverse is codependency manipulation and it says codependent here okay somebody here could be very moody obsessive possessive here with that four of pentacles Yeah, something is ca something is causing you're gonna have to release your grip on something or some something is causing for you to kind of go within, read more. Some guys could like to go to the library or something about you may meet somebody at the library, or you could have met this person somewhere out in public. Whatever you do for work, and yeah, why is the Queen of Cups here in reverse? We got the Queen of Wands. Yeah, some of you, Queen of Wands upright. Some of you guys, you you are this Queen of Wands. You guys are magnetic. You're attract. You're attractive. You're sexy. Some of you guys could be trainers, or you enjoy working out. Some of you guys may be hiring a trainer. You could be nutrition coaches. You guys could be into sports. Okay, the Queen of Wands is powerful. She's sexy. She's magnetic. She's a go getter. She's ambitious. She knows how to make shit shake. She knows how to make things happen. She's action oriented. She's far from lazy. She's very active. Very and she likes and she's very in tune with her sexuality. Some of you guys have a high sex drive. Okay, but some of you guys, you don't, yeah, you guys have nothing to be codependent about. Whether this works with this current person you're with or it doesn't or whoever, at the end of the day, you still have your nine of cups. You're still going to be good regardless. Whether it's with this person or a new person or by yourself, you're going to be content regardless. And that's what you should focus on, self-contentment. Work on your self-contentment because people change like the fucking wind and anything can happen. So, And I'm somebody, and I'm in a relationship and I'm saying this. Okay, so just, you know, but you guys be you guys to need to be more confident. Some of you guys need to work more on your appearance. Somebody can find you very sexy, very attractive. Okay? Some of you guys could be leading with your sex appeal or your looks rather than your heart. And that could be, with, you don't want to, you don't, you got to try to combine both. Because if you only go with like sex and, and all of that, you're going to end up getting just that. Okay, so lead with your heart, but... Make sure you are pouring it. Make sure you pour into yourself first. Everybody else is second. Okay, no matter if you're married, got kids, whatever. You first, everybody else second. Three of Pentacles. Um, Knight of Pentacles here. Yeah, I feel like you are. Some of you guys are with somebody that's very loyal to you here. There's something that's been, there's a contract between you and somebody that's that you need to see through. Okay, so for those of you who are in partnerships, okay, or yeah, there's something here you're meant to work with somebody this person is loyal they could be an earth sign okay or they could be any sign but this uh knight of pentacles is earth energy this person is loyal to you they're dedicated the knight of pentacles is the best knight that you want to get i mean you want to get queens or kings but the out of all the knights the knight of pentacles upright this is somebody that starts with they finish so there's a contract with somebody that started that 
you need to kind of you're being told to work through and to this is teaching you how to stay the course some you know you we can be flighty we can be real flighty somebody we feel like somebody moving a little weird and we ready to fucking get the fuck out of dodge we ready to run the other way you guys are you, you guys are being taught you guys this is teaching you to kind of stay the course you are meant to right now focus on self-contentment i whether whether you're single or in a relationship focus on self-contentment because you can so that you don't start creating shit that's not there and at the very worst if something is there if there is some deception if it is a third party your your cup is so full that okay cool it's gonna hurt it'll suck it may feel like shit but you'll be fine and you'll bounce back faster you'll bounce back better because your cup you weren't you weren't your cup is your cup is depleted your cup is overflowing nine of cups so find find things that you enjoy that fill up your cup okay this this should be this person should this this should be just you should this should be mainly you these eight cups and then whatever this person gives you this one cup it should be like it should make it overflow but you should your cup should already be full so when this ace of cups drops this love from this other person or other people that should it, it shouldn't if, if it gets taken your cup should still be full it may not overflow but it or it may or it should at least still be full okay So I also feel like somebody here is slowly, there's somebody that you could, let me see if this is nine of pentacles. Six, I don't like how that flew out. Six of um, wands in reverse. What's this nine of pentacles? Which I don't know how to place my Yeah, the hangman, heavy Pisces energy in your reading. You could be dealing with a Pisces, a hair fall. We got Taurus energy here, the Capricorn with the devil, release. So some of you guys, there's some type of conflict. You could be releasing. Yeah, some of y'all are going to be breaking. Oh, so some of you guys, whether you're married to this person or we're in a relationship, long term, short term, whatever. This person could be a player. They could be a tyrant. They could have had you in illusions. Okay, they could have been playing a lot of mind games. They could, this could have been somebody you've had some type of past with. You may have kids with this person. You may not. Okay, but um, there could be a breakup here. There's a cycle that's closing with someone. You could be dealing with the Taurus, Scorpio, Leo, or Aquarius. Capricorn is here. Taurus is here. There's a breakup here. It could be a lot of maybe, or if it's not a breakup, you guys, there's a lot of there could be some conflict, a lot of bickering. It's because there's a third factor here in this situation. Yeah, somebody could be somebody could be dragging their feet to come towards you to either work with you or something or to commit or somebody could be slow to commit slow to work with you or something they're stalling this person is stalling somebody's being stubborn that's why they're dragging their feet or they could have been but there's feelings here but somebody's dragging their feet it's for a reason what's this somebody could want to hold on to their independence uh hang on in reverse <laughs> yeah there's some type yeah okay so queen of pentacles in reverse so somebody here Capricorn Sag energy. Somebody could be on a Sag Capricorn cusp. December Capricorn or Sagittarius. Yeah, somebody's not. Yeah, somebody. Mm. So this could be. So we got two queens here. So somebody here. This could be somebody here dealing with two different women or two different men. So this could be same sex for some of you guys. But somebody here is very selfish with this nine. Somebody here could be selfish with this nine of cups. Very overindulgent, greedy. Uh, somebody could be stalling somebody could also be stalling commitment because of due to their finances or some type of disloyalty okay somebody could be very materialistic very um money hungry this could be because this this could be somebody's baby mother or ex-wife or mom who's holding them up that's very money hungry greedy materialistic selfish the queen of pentacles and verse is not a good mother okay somebody has somebody here it refuses to see somebody to see somebody's true nature all right if you feel like somebody is catching feelings for somebody else, you're correct. If you feel like you're catching feelings for somebody else, you're correct. Or ho whoever, however it's going. Somebody here is disloyal. Yeah. What's this? Why is the thing in the worst? Yeah, there's some type of conflict here. It could be due to somebody's finances, though, to be honest, with their work I'm getting. But we'll see. We'll see. Got Libra energy here. Somebody could be going through some legalities here. Yeah, there could be a divorce or a separation taking place. The lovers is your energy, Gemini. This could be some type of disharmony, lies. 
Yeah, somebody went down the wrong direction. Somebody could be giving to two people or trying to work on two different relationships with two different women. Well, we got the Queen of Cups and the Queen of... Uh, we got three queens here. So this could be three different women. Or all these women could be you. Take it how it resonates. But the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius energy, somebody here is something is karmic or somebody's getting bad karma or something is just not. Somebody is somebody's refusing to break a bad pattern because they're very immature. But what's this? Somebody's karma is gonna have is gonna be them seeing you with somebody else. What's Eight of Pentacles? Because they were too immature. Yeah, Eight of uh Eight of Swords here. Somebody could feel restricted by work or what they do for work or because of work. Eight of swords or money. Or somebody feels restricted somebody feels restricted by a commitment, a relationship, or what's happening in one. Yeah, ace of swords. So there is gonna be some type of truth and clarity, a type of breakthrough here, and some success here with this ace of swords here. You are gonna get clear on something. Somebody here could be doing petty mind games as well. Somebody could be what's this? Yeah, nine of pentacles. This could be in regards to somebody here is very superficial, materialistic, codependent financially on something or someone. They're bad with money. Very superficial. You could be learning just how superficial somebody is, and that could be turning you off. So the Empress is here. So this could be you. So all these queens could be you. You could be coming up as this Empress Taurus Libra energy. As you forgive, Gemini, heavy Taurus, heavy Libra energy. As you forgive, you morph into this Empress or this Emperor energy. Okay? Healing looks beautiful on you. Ace of Swords. Yeah, Ace of Wands. Oh, and the Emperor. Oh, some of y'all are dealing with the Divine Counterpart, but they could be in karmic energy because they're still dealing with somebody or you both can still be dealing with people here. We got Ace of Wands here and the Emperor. Somebody here, yeah, ooh, on top of the Ace of Swords. You guys could be pro uh, procrastinating on something here. Something could be evolving a child. Or money. Somebody could have stolen some type of... Somebody could have stolen money from somebody. I feel like somebody here is a liar. They they make... They break their promises. They say things that they don't really mean. They're disloyal, promiscuous. Somebody... Yeah. Somebody could be losing your trust by just... Yeah, there's... Yeah, the Page of Pentacles is like disloyalty, a loss of money, uh, a failed plan. Somebody could have been trying to hope to come in with sex, but they may see that you're with somebody or that they just can't do that. Or somebody could have been trying to deceive you, but they can't do that. Yeah, some of you guys are withdrawing your energy emotionally from this person. But this Ace of Wands here, there's attraction here for sure. Somebody is very clear on how they feel about you or vice versa. And somebody's going to be taking action. The Emperor here, somebody's going to take action. They're going to take charge in the situation here. So whatever's going on, just know somebody's going to be taking action on it. What's this Nine of Cups? Yeah, so the three of cups here. Yeah, king of cups. Some of you guys could be moving or somebody here could be moving out. Somebody could be getting divorced, separated, leaving a home. Somebody could be wanting to come visit you. What's this? Three of Cups just talks about a celebration. So if you were wanting to if you were wanting to reconcile with somebody, it's coming up. Especially yeah, it's coming up. This could be a father figure. All right, somebody, your husband, baby father, baby mother. Sagittarius energy with the temperance. Yeah, something there is definitely this talk, temperance is reconciliation. Yeah, this is definitely so you definitely maybe if if you would yeah. For some of you guys, when you reconcile with this person, there's gonna be a lot of makeup sex. A lot. A lot of it. This your person could have been dealing with somebody that was disloyal, money hungry. They could have been trying to co-parent with this person, but this person just won't grow up. Or this is somebody that you're dealing with that you try to cooperate with this person, work with them. Somebody here just won't, they won't grow up. Somebody just, they won't grow up. The temperance talks about divine timing, peace, patience, divine intervention, divine protection. All right, the hero font is here. Somebody could be in school right now or learning something or going back to school. Somebody here, yeah, somebody could have been in a marriage that they're taking some type of action on. Somebody regrets marrying somebody impulsively. Could be done with the cancer, Taurus. Yeah, somebody doubts, somebody made a poor, somebody made a poor judgment call, and now that shit hit the fan real quick. Yeah, there's a breakup, a separation, a divorce. What's this? Some, make sure you're not, make sure you guys aren't drinking in excess here. Somebody may uh, call you or text you under the influence. What's this temperance here?
Yeah, happy Sagittarius energy. So, yeah, some of you guys are dealing with a Sagittarius or somebody that has this in your chart, or they have night. They have something about that energy highly aspected. So they could be. They can have planets in their ninth house. Heavy Sag energy or an Aries. Heavy Sag and Aries energy here. But this person's going to take action towards you, Gemini. Somebody could have been playing mind games. Somebody here could have been doing... This person could have had spell work attached to them to slow... Somebody could have been trying to slow down their finances to keep them stuck. They could have been dealing with this Queen of Wands who was codependent, needy, emotionally manipulative. They could have been going to a higher priest. They could have been doing spell work, getting readings, trying to track you or this person's movements to see when it's this person somebody knows that somebody may want to come towards you okay but um reconciliation is definitely here somebody's definitely going to take action somebody's definitely but just make sure that this person is actually single and like not yeah because this person could still be in this marriage here or they can still be tied to somebody all right so they can still be holding on to that to this person this person could still be in their energy so while they have feelings for you somebody could still be in their energy and then for my uh, fellas, if you're watching, you guys could be in this Emperor King of Wands energy. You guys are healing. You guys are going on the right path. You guys are reconciling with yourself. And you're morphing into this king. We got the King of Queen of... Oh, shit. Look at this. We got the King and fucking Queen of Wands. I didn't, and, and, so. and they're both looking in the same direction. So you and this, so you and somebody are on the same page. If you're if you're if you're wondering if this person has feelings for you, they do. Somebody could be foreign, mixed, biracial, uh, a Latin background. Okay. <laughs> if you've been wondering if this person has feelings for you, they do. What's this expression of love? We got insecurity. So somebody may be a bit insecure. Now we got the king of pentacles here upright, faithful. So Taurus energy. Somebody could be an Aries, Taurus cusp. What's this? Some, the strength card is uh, Leo energy. Yeah, somebody's repressing their feelings due to some type of insecurity here. Somebody's afraid to kind of, somebody may be, somebody may fear you may reject them. Maybe they rejected you in the past out of pride, whatever. So now they're feeling like, damn, Gemini's going to reject me. I already rejected them. And this person may want, this person wants to work on something with you, but they are feeling insecure. This person is being a bit immature too. Um, the communication with this person may not be the best. Somebody could be a Mercury in Aquarius or Sagittarius, I'm hearing. Express your love. Yeah, here in front. Somebody could yeah. Somebody could be a, a insane. Somebody could be afraid of commitment. Yeah, ten of look at wow, you got all aces. I mean, yeah. The, Gemini, you got all aces. The ten of cups and the ten of ten of cups and ten of pentacles. Somebody wants to offer you something solid here. Capricorn had got something like this with the ace of cups reversed, or was that Sag? But then the ace of pentacles, or was it it was some I forget. Um, but I don't think it was this deck. I think it was the newer reading I'm doing. I'm so mad I had to do y'all reading over, but this energy is much better than the reading I did a week or so ago. Trust me, this reading is much better. So clearly some of you guys could be working on your self-concept. You guys could be working on releasing, detaching. Some of you guys could be focusing more on, again, filling your cup, doing things that make you feel confident. So your energy about yourself and what you're doing is shifting, which in return is going to shift your love life. So this is good, whether you're married, single, or dating. But um, somebody here, Gemini, wants to offer you something. They want to offer you something solid. Like somebody sees you as this wish for them. And they want to have the whole shebang, the marriage, the kids, everything. But somebody's not really, they don't really express this for whatever reason. So it can have you doubt if they feel this way. What's this? What's this uh, strange card? Somebody could be wanting to propose. You could be married to this person already. And you guys could be finding new ways to express your love to each other. What's this insecurity? So heavy Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. Heavy fire sign energy. Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius. Yeah, the star card. Aquarius energy. Yeah, somebody is somebody as somebody is like praying. Somebody could literally be praying to God. Like 
oh my god please let gemini take me back please let this work out with gemini like somebody here has been having a lot of somebody has been trying to have faith in restoring this connection or just in faith and love in general somebody here yeah there's procrastination here due to i feel like finances somebody's worried about their money or commitment or family or what their friends or people are going to think you may have this person blocked or they could have blocked you something also could have backfired on someone here okay what's this star card somebody also needs to heal some type of somebody may need to heal their heart chakra yeah six of swords is here transition movement yeah, somebody wants to come because we go from so you and this person could have gotten this could have been a lot of conflict with communication. This person could have said a lot of mean things, and what could have been behind it was this person been financially insecure, or somebody else could have kind of like been there, putting the battery in their back, or this could have just been this person themselves, male or female. But we go from the five of swords to the six. So somebody here definitely wants to bring some resolution to conflict with you. In regards to communication and going and going to peaceful waters, somebody here is hoping that you guys can, you know, just focus. Somebody wants to be stick be and stay on your good side, Gemini, because they see this Ten of Cups and this Ace of Pentacles, they, and they want this person wants to marry you. We got the King of Swords manipulation, so I don't know what that is, but somebody here definitely wants to take things. They want more peace in this situation. All right, what's this Ace of Cups in reverse? So we got the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Swords, and the Ace of Cups. We got all the Aces and the Ace of Pentacles. Ace. Yeah, well, draw somebody. Somebody feels like they could have missed something. Somebody feels like there was a missed opportunity, or you may. Somebody could be feeling. Somebody may feel like you may reject them because they could have had you waiting for a long time. They could have taken their time, or maybe this person just isn't. You could be unhappy or feeling emotionally withdrawn because this person isn't really showing you much love. They're not really showing you a lot. And that could be for whatever insecurity that they need to heal and work through and get past. This person could be carrying around old baggage from a past relationship, their childhood, whatever. But somebody has to somebody has to get some type of closure or something and, and move forward. Somebody here may fear that you're gonna reject them. No, four cups in reverse. Yeah, Leo, two of wands and the sun card. Pos yeah, it's a lot of positive. Yeah, this person, somebody here wants to give to you. It could be in regards to a child or this, but I just feel like Somebody's not, somebody's just being weird. Somebody's being weird around stability and money. Or somebody's just being weird with commitment, probably. But anyways, two of wands talks about a partnership forming. Some of you guys, this could be somebody new expressing their feelings for you. Somebody may have a fucking crush on you. But sun card, heavy Leo energy again. Something, there's solutions to an issue. I feel like somebody's going to come out the woodworks and tell you how they feel. Somebody's gonna, somebody is going to make a decision to show you and tell you how they feel. Whether you're going to reject them or not, somebody's going to do it anyway. Somebody's going to feel the fear and do it anyway. The hero front. Yeah, I'm telling you, somebody wants to invite you somewhere or somebody may want to take you on a date here. You could be you could be dreaming about this person has a lot of money or they're very stable. They could be an earth sign. This is somebody that's very earthy. They dress nice. They could like to wear jewelry. This person has like really nice brown skin, a nice beard, mustache. They got nice eyes. They got very like this person could be like African-American or they just if they're not, they like have this nice brown or a bronze tan. They could be younger than you for some of you guys or older. Okay, but what's this hair off on? Well, this could be somebody that's married already and committed to somebody. And they're committed to Six of Wands, Victory. They're committed to somebody that plays mind games, the spell work, and keeps them held up yeah moon card illusion somebody's yeah somebody's fucking with somebody's vision in third eye for sure what's the six of wands yeah release i'm you, you guys are capricorn energy here with the devil you guys are gonna your guys yeah something this this is very this is this is spiritual the world card this is a lesson something is completed or it's going to be whether you like it or initiate it or not somebody's going to be in regret here but you're going to be able to recover. Somebody's going to be able to recover financially, emotionally, okay? And then they're going to want to rush the fuck in like a bat out of hell. But don't, 
don't rush into anything because it may just blow up just as fast as it starts. So make sure you're taking the time to get to know this person. Make sure they're putting in the work and they're not. This person could still be trying to manipulate the energy or want to control you or your judgment. So be careful here. Be very careful. Make sure they're fully divorced, whatever. But um, you could be, you're going to get victory here once you release something or someone. Gemini. Yeah, there's an attachment here you have to somebody. What's this devil in reverse? Yeah, this could be a king of cups. Somebody loves you, Gemini. So king of cups, king of wands. Yeah, somebody's in regret about something. Somebody could have been in their ego when they did something. Somebody could also be a bit moody because they're releasing something that they could have been holding on to for a while, whether it's an actual person, a lifestyle, physically, emotionally, energetically, spiritually. This, this could be causing somebody's mood swings or something. What's this King of Cups? And what's this King of Cups here? Somebody loves you, Gemini. Yeah, this person could be moving or this person this person could be wanting to move in with you or for you to move in with them. Empress energy. Okay, somebody, yeah. Yeah, this could be a twin dynamic, the emperor and the empress. Somebody sees you as this empress, Taurus, and Libra energy. You can have that in your chart. You don't have to. You don't have to be a Taurus or Libra to be an empress. Not every Taurus and Libra is an empress by far so you don't have to be a you don't you know what i'm saying the empress is a it's a divine feminine it, that's something that you that takes work years of work you're not a divine you're not an empress just because you look pretty and dress well and smell good that's not how that works or because you can have kid you could be you know some people show up as the empress and the emperor just because they're parents just because they're fathers and mothers that's it or because they were married but they're not divine masculines or divine feminines you know what i'm saying it's a difference but um, somebody here could be getting out of a contract with somebody. What's this four of wands in reverse? It could be, uh, yeah, seven of pentacles. <laughs> yeah, I feel like somebody's investing a lot of time. Yeah, somebody invested a lot of time, money, and energy into something that they just aren't, ha they aren't or weren't happy in. What's the Ten of Cups? And something is going to take time here. Uh, a lot of pentacles in this reading. What's the Ten of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles? Yeah, some of you guys are starting over. I'm, ooh, some of, y some of you guys are starting a new family. I, whether it's If this is new love, whether it's new love or renewed with somebody that you have history with or somebody that you're already with, y'all are going to, there's going to be a child born. I'm getting an earth sign child and a boy. Y'all are going to, your next pregnancy or your first pregnancy is going to be a boy. I'm getting that heavy. It's going to be a boy. Somebody wants to come out of the cold with you, Gemini, here. I feel like this person could have undergone some change or after an ending of some sort of death or physical or spiritual, I feel like you're going to be able to recover financially, energetically, everything. But somebody wants to, I'm telling you, you guys may have a child with this person already or you, some of y'all could be pregnant right now. Congrats. Um, it's a boy or it's going to be a really, really strong girl, but I'm getting, I'm getting boy earth sign. What's the food card? Some of you guys are going to be starting over. You're going to be with somebody where this person sees you as somebody that they want a family with. This person sees you as marriage material. Uh, somebody sees a home with you. They see everything. What's this food card? Yeah. The Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Just don't make any hasty decisions because this may affect you financially, Gemini. Especially for those of you who are self-employed or independent. Don't rush into any marriage or anything. Even if you have kids with this person or this person. Want, don't rush into anything so fast. Okay? Don't. What's this nine of pentacles in reverse? Yeah, something may be, yeah, you're going to have choices. Y'all not going to be single. So, Gemini's, if you guys have been single for a while, you won't be single much longer. 
if you've been wanting to reconcile with somebody you've been on the outs with them you won't be much longer you guys are gonna have a lot of choices in love but just some of these choices a lot of them are going to be superficial so choose what choose what and who's the most stable okay there could be some type of illusions going on around a child or just a, a relationship in general here there could be fears here okay there's something here something that's not really being seen something somebody could have some issues with their vision their eyes their third eye their intuition what's this attraction yeah i feel like somebody's gonna take i'm telling you somebody's very attracted to you gemini so this person's gonna this person could be somebody that you met online like on social media this person could live, live at a distance from you all right this person could watch you if you're on any platform. What's this attraction here? Or you watch this person. Yeah, the tower. I'm Mars energy, Scorpio, Aries. I'm something's gonna come. Somebody's gonna come in so fast. Just know what you want, Gemini. For those of you, especially if you're single or if you're trying to, if you don't know if you want somebody back or not, make up your mind because when you make up your mind, it's gonna come in so fast, you're not gonna know what the fuck to do with yourself. Attraction. Yeah, the lovers, Gemini energy. Yeah, partnership is coming in. Some of you guys manifested this and you don't even realize it. Now all you guys now all you guys have to do is either release some past baggage, release a person, release some type of mental, release some type of thought patterns or something and open up your heart. Because you manifested this. Some of you guys manifested a breakup because there could have been some type of betrayal that could have taken place and you're going to release this person you're going to be granted you're going to be trust me whatever you all the love and all the things that you've given to someone or just people in general is going to come back to you there's somebody here that's lying lying on you or that's lying period or somebody could be dealing with the liar and this is attraction you guys gonna have to make a choice kind of of yeah just know what you want right now gemini because you're gonna have to make a choice nine of cups this could be somebody younger than you Somebody wants to take you out on a date. Again, some of you guys could have met this person out somewhere or you could be dreaming about them. They could have like short hair for some of you guys. They could have braids or curly hair. I'm not really seeing any guy here with um braids or locks or anything. Could be, but I'm not really seeing it. What's this knife of swords here? Somebody's gonna take action though. Somebody's very attracted to you. And as you guys focus more on love and self-love and attraction and things like that, you're, people are going to be more... It's like you, you got somebody that's very drawn. You got people that are just... You're pulling people in. You got three of swords here, so... What's this three of... <laughs> yeah, eight of wands. So somebody here that could have said something really mean to you or did something impulsively, this person wants to talk to you. They're, yeah, somebody wants to talk. Somebody regrets doing something or saying something. They could have been really stubborn at that time. They could have been holding on to a lot. They could have been acting from a place of pain. But somebody expect a expect a text message when with when the eight of wands. No, like within three to eight days or something, maybe eight weeks. But I'm getting sooner than that to be honest. What's this eight of wands? This person, somebody's gonna take action. This or you, there could be a third party that reaches out to you about something what's this eight of, or you do what's this eight of wands especially if they know this person wants especially if it's somebody that you already dealt with and they want to come back to you somebody's going to end up saying or try to lie on this person or this person could be yeah seven something's back so gemini if somebody here has been trying to do some type of spell work to make to like force a breakup or somebody or, or try to see you heartbroken something is backfiring from the eight to the seven, something's gonna backfire. Your partner, whoever you're with, or whoever you're gonna be with, is very loyal and very fit and faithful and devoted to you on all levels and all ways. Okay, just know that you can have this person blocked, and then for others of you, you may this you may just have somebody blocked here. Okay, what's this? Yeah, two of cups. So this could be some type of unexpected partnership that's coming in. I'm telling you, two of cups. Yep, this is somebody that may start out as friends, or this is somebody that you're with already. You guys are like friends and lovers. Okay, you guys, somebody may want to ask you out for coffee or just to grab a quick bite to eat. Trust your inner voice here. Don't be stubborn. Okay. Somebody is going to, something's going to start off small. Like they're going to start, they're going to, somebody here is like, Gemini, whether you're married or in a relationship or single or dating, focus on the lighter side of love. 
not pain and heartache because that's what you're manifesting you're actually you're blocking what you want to come in it's already it's it's flying towards you it's like a few things it's like two things are flying towards you depending on your self-concept and depending on how you see love in general is going to be what comes is going to be what comes and what sticks okay some you know so it's like you could be getting in the own way of love just focus on enjoying the moment this person you could be dealing with somebody that is ready they, they want to just give you know bit by bit maybe that's how they they don't you know they you know and for others of you this is going to be a solid partnership for those of you who are married you guys are going to be finding new cute ways to kind of show love to each other and things like that the lovers Yeah, hasty. Somebody's gonna, yeah. Yeah, I feel like somebody's gonna be, yeah. Just don't let this person, yeah, Knight of Wands. Don't let this person come in and rush in with sex, Gemini. Don't let this person just come into sex. If you had sex with this person, it could have been, somebody could be fantasizing, thinking about your sex or whatever, especially if y'all have kids or if they have whatever. Don't let this person come in on some hot and heavy shit because they're not gonna stay, okay? What's this Knight of Wands in reverse? Somebody could be somebody could have a low sex drive here, or somebody could be losing passion for something or somebody sexually. Yeah. Three of Wands in reverse. If you let if you do something too hasty or too fast, it's not gonna expand. This person just make just make sure they put an effort, even if it's small efforts. Okay. There could be an upheaval in a partnership due to a child or Something could be changing about a partnership because of a child here, right? I'm telling you, some of y'all are pregnant. Yeah, there's somebody here is just, yeah, what's this nine of cups? Yeah, I just feel like somebody, yeah, somebody wants to, somebody wants to, in, somebody wants to invite you somewhere. Somebody's returning to you, Gemini. You guys could be trying to attract somebody back to you. Or, if you, again, if you're married already partnered, maybe you guys are drifting apart from each other sexually or romantically. And somebody's going to try to work on, like, bringing that back, okay? But somebody has to get out of their head and just make the effort, literally. Just make the effort is all that's needed. Somebody needs to know what they want and just make the effort. What's this eight of cups in reverse? Yeah, somebody's in regret. Somebody could regret walking away from you or going towards some, you know, doing something else here. What's this? Yeah, what's this? Somebody could be seeing you in a partnership and maybe they regret that. They 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 don't they're yeah, four swords is here. Somebody could be healing from some type of regret and heartache. Some of y'all are pregnant, or you're gonna be finding out that you're pregnant. Okay. What's this three of wands in reverse? Yeah, somebody's clinging to the past. So, yeah, this, this, something is energetically affecting the, somebody around you or you, and it's affecting, this, it's affecting the intimacy and the energy between you guys. Some of you guys also need to get more rest. The more rest you get, the more healing. Rest is very, rest, meditation. Sleep is very, sleep is going to be very healing to you guys. Very healing, okay? You could be dealing with a cancer here. What's this page of pentacles here? Yeah, somebody needs to get out of their head and just kind of just... Some of you guys need to get out of your head here. We got Paige of Swords. Somebody could be watching you or you're watching someone. Somebody's going to be. Somebody's gonna have to watch you get into a commitment. And this is somebody that's going to be loyal to you, faithful to you. Could be a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. So they have that in your chart. This could be a, a Taurus here, Capricorn, Virgo. But um, yeah, somebody's going to have to watch you be in a commitment. Some of you guys could be blending families together and stuff like that. Somebody, yeah. Or you could be watching somebody in a commitment, but somebody's watching somebody online. Talk about this, have this, see it. Somebody's also clinging. Something is not expanding and growing in a way that it should because somebody's clinging to their past or somebody from their past or whatever. Let's get, let's, let's get some messages here. Yeah, somebody likes you. And we got mirror, mirroring each other, self-image, relationship reflects our wounds, introspection. So some of you guys need to do some introspection or your person does or somebody has. We got I like you. Someone likes you. Rom romance is blooming. Fun, uh, fun flirting one today. I'm telling you, somebody likes you. 
this may be somebody outside of if you're if you're single or somebody likes you or if you're dating this person likes you if you're in a relationship somebody else may like you i'm not even gonna lie they might not even care about that or somebody likes your person whatever karmic relationship fleeting triggers turmoil resentment lessons letting go and loving you somebody some of you guys need to release somebody and just again pour into yourself if you're having a hard time if you guys are struggling with codependency and attachment issues pouring into yourself and 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 reshaping your self-concept about yourself and about love and your relation to love and your type of partners you attract and how people treat you and things like that through affirmations and re repetition that's that's the work repetition and, and doing things that make you look and feel good superficially and internally that's going to shift that's what's going to shift things here okay whether it's with this person and you can kind of reach change the direction and the energy of it or with somebody new either way you win gemini you win either way okay we got the butterfly relationship evolving to the next phase healing the inner child growth for some of you guys who are married or partnered this something in and your partnership is evolving and growing between the both of you individually and together and for others of you somebody here had to walk away or had to they had to choose that other person they had to go through their lesson somebody had to awaken to get on your level and for and for others of you it's you that's growing and evolving we got clock need time takes time in in time cycles time to heal and progress and we saw that with the temperance here something is going to take something's going to happen in divine time and the temperance is all about divine time and divine intervention patience you know the knight of pentacles could take months the, the temperance could take months Let's, let's get so let's see let's get some surrender cards which you can focus on for yourself outside of love that's going to basically that's going to help with it anyway we got surrender to silence and quiet meditation or contemplation let go and enter the stillness within silence can heal and replenish you yeah a lot of you guys no lie some of y'all are gonna the more sleep some of you guys get the more attractive you're gonna be your skin is going to get better. Everything is going to... If you, Especially if you've been breaking out or having skin issues or whatever. The more sleep you get, the more attractive you're going to be. And the more downloads and the more healing you're going to be. And when you're healed, it, 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 it shows through your aura. Yeah, surrender your fear of intimacy. You are ready to let love in. Compassionately identify and begin to release any patterns that stop you from opening your heart. So with this devil energy, some of you guys do have some patterns, some thought, whether it's insecurities or this, you're dealing with somebody that, that has this, but or that's dealing with this. But Or this could be you, Gemini. This could be you. So some of you guys may show love through codependency right not really giving your partner much space or vice versa or maybe this is both of you doing this because you both have because we do see the mirror here we did see the yeah, we did see so you guys could both be mirroring this to each other so there's some fear of intimacy that needs to be let go of all right yeah some of you guys have some unhealthy patterns surrender the idea you can fix someone who got this Aquarius or Virgo, somebody, it's time for a relationship to shift. It doesn't work to try to fix someone. Each person must be accountable for his or her own healing. Uh, hello, hello. You can't fix you can't fix someone, Gemini. Somebody can't fix you, especially for those of you who have Virgo in your charge. You can only fix yourself. Work on your self concept. So you can meet people that you don't have to try to change. They'll just come as they as they are. That works for you. And then we have surrender your addiction. Somebody could be battling addictions or this is you. Uh, so surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted. Sagittarius had this. Capricorn had this. Libra. A, a lot of people got this card in, this, in their love reading. Surrender your addictions. Whether you're addicted to substances, food, people, sex, or overworking, take action to begin to heal the addiction and replace it with healthier alternatives. So yeah, Gemini, we have surrender to complete healing. Open. Open fully to the loving, compassionate forces of the universe that support your physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. Every, yes, this. Yes. Gemini, yes, yes. So again, whether you are partnered or single, married, dating, focus on your self-concept. How you see yourself and how 
others see because that's how people are going to see you in regards to love business and everything focus on your self-concept some of you guys really need to change. that's that's really what you really what you need to do is focus on your self-concept affirmations i am beautiful i am loving i am worthy of love i am lovable okay my part you know like it, it just self-concept needs to shift because it's how you're seeing yourself is affecting how you're showing up in your relationships and how you're showing up to dating in general, okay? Just, you know, self-concept. Uh, let's get some... Oh, no. Sorry, guys. Hold on. <laughs> we're going to get some self... Here, we're going to get some self-care messages. And then we'll do some chakra... We'll do some chakra cards. Okay, so the self-care messages for Gemini... And love that they can focus on outside of love sorry for themselves <laughs> we gotta make a meal so cook more and cook more meals at home eat more veggies gemini okay um that will benefit you guys greatly we have plan a vacation so you and this person or you and somebody could want to plan a vacation and that or that may be what you guys need some just some real cute some real qt quality time away from everything and everyone we got aromatherapy so sense oh so also gemini so what you guys can do is you guys could get some love oils or make your own and put it on you and and say your affirmations Say your affirmation, even wear it around a, or if you're going on a date or something. I'm telling you, they got aromatherapy rituals that you can do for love, too. We got massage. Some of you guys need to uh, take better care of your bodies. Get a massage. Again, do things. You can massage your own feet or or go. I would go get a massage if you can. If not, massage your feet or get a, a ball or something where you can do it yourself. Hydrate. Drink more water. Some of you guys could be dehydrated. It could be blocking and affecting your intuition. Okay? Um... Yeah, definitely get some love oils, like, or make your own. That will be a nice project. If you're crafty like that, if you feel like it. If not, just look up some love oils that you can wear. Perfume, essential oils would be best, or oils that you can smell. You can infuse it in a, in a, in a infuser or something like that. Get some roses. You know, start getting yourself roses. You know, things like that. So let's get some chakra messages. Every Friday, Gemini, I want you guys, Friday is Venus Day. I want you guys to do something self-care related. Buy yourself flowers, get your nails done, do a face mask, sit in the soak in the bath with rose petals or soak in the bath, period. Um, take yourself on a date, hang out with a friend. I want you to take yourself out to eat. Oh, that's a date. But yeah, I want you guys every Friday... I want you guys to do something for you that is you for you and nobody else. That an over look at this, the heart chakra card came out. <laughs> we got sacral chakra, emotions, creativity, and I'm actually wearing carnelian. And uh emotions, creativity, sexuality, and pleasure. Somebody's sacral chakra could be blocked too. Something if you're having fertility issues, it could be something in your sacral chakra. Carnelian, which I'm wearing right now. Uh, sunstone, snowflake, obsidian. Snowflake, obsidian is, it looks like this. Oh, where is it? I just showed somebody else in my other reading. I'm sorry, guys. I don't want to, I feel like this reading is already too long. Oh, here it is. This is snowflake, obsidian. You guys may need to do some wound healing, some wound magic, or somebody could have been trying to do that to you. Uh, we got water here. Every, whatever somebody's trying to do to your partnership, you, your fertility, having kids, or your person, or whatever, that's that's backfiring. You're going to have it. You're, you're going to be, trust me. Uh, the element is water. Archangel Zadik Real. It says, I am in touch with my feelings, and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. Somebody here may need to embrace their sexuality more, whatever that is. I am in touch with my feelings, and I embrace my creativity and sexuality. Somebody here could be in an over-masculine energy, and they need to tap more into their feminine energy, whether it's you or somebody else. Some of you guys need to work on receiving more. So let people, I said this to Scorpio's reading, but not their love message. Uh, the new readings I'm doing. Um, yeah. 
lack of stamina and focus. So somebody could be lacking that. Wearing a mask. Somebody could be wearing a mask out of insecurities here, right? Feeling insignificant. Somebody could come off confident, but really that's not how they really feel about themselves or this situation or this is you or about love in general. Conflict and drama. We saw that. Uh, mood swings. Somebody could be having mood swings for sure. We got feeling insecure feeling unworthy yeah i am worthy i am worthy of love i am worthy of commitment i am worthy of devotion all of that self-concept i am beautiful i am lovable okay inability to cope with changes so somebody there could be some type of unwanted change in somebody's life financially emotionally physically health whatever and they could be having a hard time dealing with that so they could be having they could be moody okay we got unclear or this could be you we got unclear mental fog right self-sabotaging make sure you're not self-sabotaging relationships or things in general this could be somebody around you and we got ungrounded and heart chakra gemini and i said you guys need to work on your heart chakra work with the color green wear wear it more get your toes done green get some green flowers get start work again every friday i want you guys to if you don't do if you don't do something with green any or pink any other day at least do it on fridays because fridays is ruled by venus if you don't say your affirmation every day, make it a point to say at least Friday. I mean, you know, it's, I can't do the work for you. I can't, you know, the affirmations is really, it's, that's the, that's the self, changing your self, -con changing your self concept through, through, repet through repetition of affirmations is a lot of work. You got to say, it even if you don't believe it at that moment, heart chakra, love, acceptance. I accept myself fully. Okay, because if you got if you got love and accept yourself fully for somebody else to, a uh, heart chakra, love, acceptance, compassion, growth, balance, green avatrine, which is green avatrine is this. This is the raw one. Okay, uh, rose quartz is this. This pink one. It's like translucent pink. Uh. Amazonite. I don't know, but I think this is Rondo Cross. I think this is Amazonite or rondo crow site i don't know y'all so don't quote me the element is air archangel chamwell it says i accept respect and love myself and i am worthy of receiving love gemini i want to try to stick with this affirmation it says i accept respect and love myself and i am worthy of receiving love i'll repeat it one more time i'm sorry i accept respect and love myself and i am worthy of receiving love this would be a great affirmation for you guys okay so gemini this was your reading like comment and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye